Debbie Mack here, and I'm going to read another chapter from Invisible Me. Chapter 6. After a moment's pause, I say, We have plenty of time. Why don't we go to both? Denise smiles. You're so smart. Tara and Mindy look befuddled. After a bit more discussion, we settle on hot topic. Mindy seems to be more assertive than Tara. We wander over to the store where, following Denise's lead, the girls find things for me to try on. Oh, look, this is perfect for you. Denise hustles toward me with a pair of hip, hip hugger jeans and cute crop top with a sparkly heart decal. Honestly, you shouldn't, I say. I didn't bring any money. Mindy and Tara float about, holding items up and posing before the large mirrors. Despite my protests, they keep recommending clothes for me to try on. They don't seem to understand that I have no money. Sitting on a chair tucked in among the racks, I make myself as small as possible. Can I will myself into invisibility? What an interesting idea for a short story. Maybe I'll write it someday. That would be the most awesome job, wouldn't it? To be a writer. To write stories about kids who could do things like think themselves into invisibility. Because when you're a writer, you can make almost anything happen. Denise walks up. We're going to Old Navy. Are you sure you don't want anything here? She holds up a pair of faded cut-off jeans with frayed bottoms like Daisy Duke would wear. After a quick tour of Old Navy, nothing of interest, we make our way around the perimeter of the mall, stopping here and there. Because we eat dinner early at our house, I feel hungry and pick up a soft pretzel in the food court. Amazing! I text my mom and ask her to set aside my dinner. I keep thinking about the bookstore, but don't mention it. Tara checks her watch. Hey, Denise, isn't your mom coming soon? Denise, looking at, the group, at a group of guys, snaps to attention. Oh, right. Everyone have everything? Tara holds up her shopping bags. You bet. Mindy holds up her bags. Sure thing. I hold up my one bag with the new pair of jorts Denise bought for me. Yeah. That's the end of chapter six. And if you'd like to read a longer sample from my young adult novel, Invisible Me, just click on the link that's in the description below this video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed hearing the, these excerpts. See you next time. And thank you very much for watching and listening.